Do you ever drink something and then when you're drinking it, it sounds like a fart, it's like <laughs> Same. I'm so hot. I need my cheeks to cool down. Cool. Hi guys, I'm here today to show you what is in my bag. I get so many questions about this bag and I think it's because I do post it quite a lot on Instagram. Like if I'm doing a mirror selfie, I've always got my bag. And loads of people ask what it is, where it's from, and all that jazz so I thought I would just do a big what's in my bag video if I'm gonna go stop at the office or anything this is what I'll most likely take because it's got my laptop and when I go and work at the office I just take my laptop and edit and stuff if I'm just having like a normal day I will just throw my keys my lip balm and my phone in my mulberry bag which is a lot smaller and just take that and that is literally all I'll take and my cards obviously but this is like a hefty bag that I take if I'm going on a train somewhere or I'm going to the office or yada yada. So my bag is the Givenchy Shark bag. It looks like this, it's pretty big. I like it because it's got this front flap that sticks out over the bottom flap. So like the bottom bit looks thinner and then the top bit looks fatter. That'll annoy some people so much but I actually really like that. It's got a little thing that you can put your arm through if you just wanna wear it in the crook of your arm but it's also got a long strap for if you wanna wear it crossbody or just on your shoulder. And the reason it's called the shark bag is because the clasp on the front is shaped like a shark tooth, which I think is so cool. But there is a massive design fault with this bag. It's a super expensive bag and honestly, I don't know if I would recommend it. I really like it and like I just deal with this problem with it because I like it. So, around the clasp bit, it's shaped like a hexagon or some sort of shape with a lot of sides. Clearly didn't pass maths very well. <laughs> so when you undo it, it's absolutely fine. But when you go to close it, sometimes the shape just won't fit back in place. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. I wish they'd just done it a normal square shape or I wish they didn't even have that bit on. Like the mulberry bags, they literally just have the clasp above where it shuts. I'll do a little close up and show you so you know what I'm on about. But this bit, because it does have that shape to fit back in, when you're out and about, sometimes you just can't fit it back into place. Therefore, you can't close your bag. Like, I will literally have to stop in the street to close my bag, and sometimes it won't even close then, so I'll have to walk around with it open, which is so bad in London. And that is one massive design fault, which I hate. But aside from that, I love this bag. On the inside it's just lined with suede and it's got a massive pocket at the back where if I'm honest I like to keep spare pants and tampons in case I come on my period so I've always got a pair of spare pants and I've always got some tampons. But then it's also got two little pockets inside for like a phone and whatever you want to put in there. My bag as you can see right now is pretty full so I'm just going to show you what is in there. Also if I've got really red cheeks right now it's because I'm so hot these lights make me so boiling hot. So my cheeks have gone really red. <laughs> yeah. The first thing I keep in my bag, this is a gold MacBook and it's the MacBook Air, I'm pretty sure. It's the new version. And I just like to keep this in my bag because obviously if I edit and stuff, this is what I use. If I'm at home when I edit, I like to use my iMac because laptops can get really, really slow if you edit on them a lot because they just can't like deal with the amount that you do on it. They're fine for a while and then they just conk out. So if you're a new YouTuber or you would like to start being a YouTuber and you've got the funds, I would really recommend getting an iMac. So that's the first thing. These sleeves are gonna bug me. The next thing I keep in my bag are my little headphones, and I like them because the colour matches my laptop, but these are little kitty cat headphones. If you can see, they've got little cat headphones on them up here, not headphones, ears. <laughs> I think that's adorable and I love these. I do get a few funny looks when I'm on the tube and stuff, but you know what? I deal with it because I really like them. These were present from Urban Outfitters, but they are by Skinny Dip, I think. So I'll leave them in a link below if you're interested anyway. They're actually really good headphones too. The next thing I keep in my bag is this little hairbrush. This is by Denman. The next thing are my keys. These are my house keys. I've got two. And I've got this little poof thing. And this was from... Top Shop or ASOS. I'm not too sure which one it was, but I love it and it just helps me find my keys in my bag because I just go and look for the puffy pom-pom rather than the keys. Oh, another thing that I keep in my bag that's actually really annoying to carry around, <laughs> even though I love vlogging so much. This is my Canon G1X camera. I used to use the G7X. It's 
a pile of poop. I would not recommend that at all. The focus is so bad. It's fine for like three months and then if you use it a lot, it just goes shitty and every YouTuber will say that. So I recommend this one, even though it's a lot bigger, but it's so much better. It focuses so quickly and I just think it's better in general. It's got a flip up screen so you can see yourself if you want to. And I've just got this mini tripod on the bottom. I got this from Urban Outfitters. It's actually meant to be an iPhone like panoramic view tripod, but I got it for my camera because it's like the perfect size and it really does help actually if you want to get a shot and your camera is too low for that certain shot you can just pop the tripod down. Another electronic -y thing that I've got is my Game Boy. This is a Nintendo DS. I don't think it's actually called Game Boy anymore but this is the XL1 and I got it in pink and I love this thing. I'm currently playing Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer I think it's called and I do like to play Animal Crossing too, and I just bought the Tamadachi Life. That is definitely not how you pronounce it, but it's something like that. If I know I've got a long tube journey or I'm in a taxi and I know it's gonna be a long way, I will just take this and it keeps me amused and it keeps me off social media because I like to not go on that as much as I can possibly not go on it. So if I take this, it kind of just, fills my brain with something else. I'm really not a good reader. I do enjoy reading, but I have to like proper concentrate on it. Whereas stuff like this, I don't have to really concentrate. So I can just do it like for two minutes and then put it away. Mm. I've got some tissues. My sunglasses, which are from Key Australia. They're from the Shea Mitchell range and they just look like this. The sun started coming out more in London. So I just like to take these everywhere I go. The matte black just massive cat eyes and I love them. On to makeup products, I've got quite a few. So I just take my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, that's what I use as my lip balm. I also take my Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and normally I've got a powder in my bag, I don't know where that is right now. I think I got it out to do this video and put powder on my face. But I've also got the Buxom Las Vegas lip thing. And this is really nice, it's a really pretty Barbie pink. I've got Max Modesty Lipstick, which is kind of a brownie shade. I like to have this in case I want a nude. And I've also got the Gosh Forever Lip Shine, and this is in the shade Sweet Moments. This is actually really super pretty. It's a really nice brownish nude again. And another brownie nude is the Soap and Glory Gloss Stick in the shade Nudist. Obviously, we all know what colours I like to wear on my lips the most. Okay, we're getting to the last things now. I've got a card holder. This is my purse. I should really carry around an actual purse, but I don't want to. I just find with all the things that I carry around, a purse is too big. So this is what I take instead. I've just got my rail card, my uh, business debit card, and my normal debit card, which isn't in here right now. It's on the kitchen side. And then I've just got some cash but I love this card holder. I had a purple one before, but I lost it. So I ended up getting this blue one. Oh, I've just found another lipstick. This is Cheryl's Nude by L'Oreal. It's a really pretty pinky nude. And I've also got a bunch of foodie things in my bag. So I've got some hauls. These are the strawberry flavored ones. Don't really like them, but they're in there anyway. Got a lolly. <laughs> I bought this Christmas set of lollies and I'm still eating them, so I've got one in my bag. I'm a crazy mint person, so I've just got some mints and some more mints. And I've normally got chewing gum as well. Oh yeah, I have. I've got some chewing gum. The only other things are a few bobbles and a few coins. And that is everything that's in my bag. Let me know what you guys carry around in your bag and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. My battery's gonna die. Ugh.